got a super simple gravy and a few tips on how to make your gravy really good every time. I've actually roasted separately and you can do it in a little tinfoil pouch like this. Two sliced yellow onions and two whole heads of garlic, just roasted tender. And I just, you know, picked them out, squeeze them out. So I've got all this. If you don't have a lot of liquid, tip number one, Add some stock yeah, or turkey, liquid to chicken. the bottom to pull up all those juicy little roasted bits that this turkey and gather all those flavors. You, you have so much flavor in your turkey. We want to get all that in the gravy. It also cleans the pan. We're washing yeah. dishes here yeah. and we're making a great gravy. So I'm always looking for ways to thicken without using, you know, stuff that makes it kind of gluey. Like a, like a roux? You don't want to roux it up? I don't roux it. I don't, don't do anything. Roux the day. Wow. I put all this garlic and roasted onion right in there. And you could do roasted, just roasted onions if you're not a garlic person, for example, right? And then to that, I'm just gonna add a few of my favorite tricks. One is mustard, but exactly. mustard has lecithin, which is a natural thickener, okay? So it's the flour of, so of pipe God's down making. Over there. Pipe okay. Down over there. <laughs> All these vegetables in here. Mm. Delicious. Yeah, and I can still smell your spices from the gravy. Tablespoon of vinegar, red wine vinegar. You don't have to do a lot to know where you're at with your gravy. You can just taste, see if you need a little bit of salt mm -hmm. or seasoning. We've got a lot of surface area right now because we've got this big pan on the stove. Maximum of evap. So it's yeah, maximum evaporation. Exactly. If you're having a hard time reducing, put it in a wider conveyance on your range. So I took a whole cup of dry sherry and I just cooked it down into a couple of tablespoons. Great trick. Reduce a lot of red wine into a tiny little bit. Give it that little flavor booster. All right, still a little watery. I like the vegetables. I like that rustic vibe. But I'm going to just take some of this gravy with some of that onion and garlic that's melding in there. Right? The garlic is super soft. You want to roast that until it just falls apart. It's super tender. We want a little bit of texture. Right? Sort of like an Italian bean soup. You take a little out, puree it, put it back put in. Put some back in. So yeah, you have this a is literally personality. It's a great trick. Yeah, but also just that trueness of roasted vegetables and your cooking liquids. Yep. That's what the gravy should be. Oh Careful. boy. Here we Blender go. Blender alert. Here we go. I'm gonna stand yeah, back. Yeah, yeah just low, stand low, back. Low, don't fill it up. Low. It's hot, so you don't want to fill it up all the way, and then you want to start go. very low. Nice and easy. Okay. Just blend it up smooth. Can you smell your spices in what I blended up? I can, you can smell still over here. smell yeah. your spices. The so whatever powder. you put on your turkey, that's gonna be in your gravy, which is exciting, mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. I, I get agree. excited. I get into Thanksgiving. Look and then that. pour that back in there. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, Alex. Come on, girl. Wow. <laughs> By the way, my mother would butter the gravy. I mean, there would be like a slick of butter and this tiny bit of, that's right. of juice. All right, so we're gonna let this reduce a little bit, get luxurious so we can taste it with the turkey. Mm. I'm excited to taste your gravy. I love that. Yes. The little so. kitchen taste, tear a little piece off that carcass, right? Or, or, big or, piece. Or tear a big piece off, I love it. Which right one can I dunk into? Go ahead, the, the, the one for the The taste. peppered. Don't look. That is delicious. And the zippy zip, that's the sherry. A little vinegar and sherry in the vinegar there. Vinegar and the sherry really did work. 